Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and seas, for you have made them. Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Tuesday, January the 29th, and the scripture for this service, Psalms 47 and 48, and Mark chapter 6, verse 1 through 13. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. All you peoples, clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. Alleluia. Psalms 47 and 48. Alleluia. All you peoples, clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. For God the Most High we must fear, a great ruler over all the earth. God subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. Our inheritance, our glory is from God, given to Jacob, Leah, and Rachel out of love. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Most High goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our ruler, sing praise. God is ruler of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is sovereign over the nations. God reigns enthroned in holiness. The leaders of the people are assembled with the people of the God of Abraham and Sarah. The rulers of the earth belong to God, to God who reigns over all. You are great and worthy to be praised in your holy city, whose holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great ruler city. You in the midst of its citadels are known to be its stronghold. For the kings assembled together and together they advanced. They saw and at once they were astounded and dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen in your holy city, in your city, O God of hosts, which you uphold forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. With justice, your right hand is filled. Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. All you peoples, walk through Zion, walk all around it. Count the number of its towers, review all its ramparts, and examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God. Our God forever and ever will always lead us. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. All you peoples, clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. Now Jesus left that place and came to his hometown, and his disciples followed him. On the Sabbath he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astounded. They said, Where did this man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been given to him? What deeds of power are being done by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Barry, and the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. And Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honor except in their hometown and among their own kin and in their own house. And he could do no deed of power there 
except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and cured them, and he was amazed at their unbelief. Then he went about among the villages teaching. He called the twelve, and he began to send them out two by two, and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He ordered them to take nothing for their journey, except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals and not to put on two tunics. And he said to them, wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave the place. If any place will not welcome you and they refuse to hear you, as you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. And so they went out and proclaimed that all should repent. They cast out many demons and anointed many with oil who were sick and cured them. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care. Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us by your Holy Spirit, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, accept our praises, for we have seen your justice and are glad in you. Be our guide from this day to the next, now and forever. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia.